Brand Rising Wonderful Souls and welcome to Bromins Cove Tarot. This is a timeless collective reading on what is coming forward. If you are a new face, welcome in. It's really good to have you here. And if you are a returning subscriber, soul family, it's good to have you back. It's so smoky in here. Oh, thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments and your subscribes. I truly appreciate them. Thank you for your donations, both for myself and for the GoFundMe that I have down below. That is for Loku's Dog and Cat Care Rescue Centre, which is based in the east of Sri Lanka. It's the only street dog and, and street cat rescue centre in the east of Sri Lanka. Connie Horchen is the, um, she's the founder of this wonderful rescue centre. It holds up to 150 dogs and 50 cats, so it's still quite small um, and they're always at full capacity. But the money that has already been donated is really helping. It's helping to deworm um, animals that they can't take in, feed animals, um, have animals flown out to Germany where Connie's from to have a better a better um, what's the word, percentage of being uh, adopted. She's been able to buy uh, wheelchairs for some of the, the amputee dogs. Um, anyone that would like to donate, please have a look down below. There is a GoFundMe link, there is a website also, and there is a Facebook page for Connie, so you can really get a good a good uh, round um, understanding of everything that they're doing over there. Um, if you can't afford to, to donate, that's absolutely fine. If you would like to just share it with as many people as possible, because the more awareness we get out, the more love we get back right um please know that my readings are closed anyone that is reaching out in the comment section is not me just block and report them know that my readings are for enter entertainment purposes only anything that comes up in the areas of law finance mental health or physical health um please ensure that you are actually reaching out to somebody who is qualified in those areas because i don't claim to be um by watching my videos you are in agreement of taking responsibility for yourself while you're watching my videos and the actions that you take afterwards also we're all adults here um i think that's it the only thing i would say is if i use pronouns while doing this reading know that i'm picking up on energies and what i see in the cards it's up to you and your and your story whether or not you're assigned genders you don't have to just don't make the story fit if it doesn't now this is my lovely lady belt i will be ringing this to cleanse the space around us if you have any type of sound sensitivity please turn down your listening device now not that one where would you like me to go green or red red okay let's have a look oh my goodness i hope everyone's doing well and let's see we've got strength and we've also got the ten of swords oh my goodness so there has been like i don't know why i'm getting there's been a road accident or there's been an accident or someone's gone to hospital because strength is you know um as much as it's the fifth house it's to do with children and pleasure and so on and so forth what I'm actually getting from these two, there has been a flipping road accident. Because the ten, the ten of Swords is like actual injury or the ending of something. And then underneath, we've got the King of Pentacles with a car that's flipped upside down. What the flipping flip? And then you have the Eight of Pentacles. I don't know if someone was, someone was paid. Stop! Someone was paid to, to, to knock someone off of the road or to ride them off of the road. Because you've got the Eight of Pentacles. This is a professional. And then you have the Six of Pentacles and they're literally paying someone from hand to hand. Oh my giddy aunt. Wow we Okay, so this started off with a bit of a bang, didn't it? Six of Swords. But someone was able to get out of this. Um, there was So there was a car crash or there was a collision or they swerved to run them off of the road. Um, and either they got away or well, they were able to get out of this car unscathed because you have here the Six of Swords and they're moving to calmer waters, right? Okay, not what I expected. Not what I expected at all. Wowee, wowee. Now, let me pop these up. Make sure that I show you them. So who paid who to off who? Oh my goodness gracious. Right, you stay up there. Keep, there we go. Wow, right, I'm going to put you out as well. You can go over there. Six of Swords can go here. Someone's heart was strong. Someone's got a strong heart. Now, can we be, can I have some um, clarity on who it is that was in the car that flipped over? Wrong question. Who paid? Queen of, y'all need to stop, right? Because I should have shown you the other one. We got the Queen of Pentacles. We had the King of Pentacles. Now I need to find you because the King of Pentacles was right up next to the Knight of Pentacles. You have a couple and one person's tried to off the other. That is flipping wild. That is wild. I'm not gonna have to find you now, am I? No, I'm not. Queen of Pentacles, King of Cups in reverse. 
this is somebody who was just in it for the money whatever if they were like in a relationship together they paid someone to try and off the other one what for the money queen of pentacles and the king of cups in reverse this is somebody who has no there's no love lost no love lost whatsoever okay why you've got the two of cups yeah there's no love lost between the two of them they really and the thing is as well is that i feel like the king of pentacles when that car flipped knew who did it knew straight away they were like that b i knew they did it because you have the four of cups upside down the four of cups is usually you see her here she can't see that cup being offered to her or she is willfully not turning around because she doesn't want to see it in any way shape or form she's dismissing it when it's this way this is looking up and knowing exactly what you're looking at and i've put this down next to the eight of pentacles so whoever it was that was a professional they knew that this was a professional hit or this was a professional something that ended them up in hospital queen of pentacles let me pop you down there the king of cups here wow that's wild two of cups tell me more please two of wands four of pentacles because somebody wanted divorce someone wanted to walk away you have the two of wands which is about um it's it's taking more action on something that you started i don't know if they served if the king of pentacles told the queen of pentacles that they even wanted a divorce and if it's not a couple in that way it can be business partners because the queen and king of pentacles are abundant they know how to handle money they can be business owners right um but you have got the ace of swords here and then the emperor this made someone really flipping angry they were either cut out of a deal or they were told that they were going to be bought out i don't know but they were not pleased with what they were told they were they were not pleased with what they were told because the two of wands here to the, the four of pentacles, four of pentacles in reverse is releasing control of something. Two of wands to the, the um, four of pentacles. This is somebody walking away for better things. They're walking away for better things. They step down. I don't know if they step down. And the other person is kind of, the other person is like playing a game of some sort. Like, no, you don't. We end this when I tell you we end this. Because the emperor in reverse is somebody who cannot, they don't know how to deal with their emotions, let alone how to manage their emotions. And they may be prone to outbursts of anger because of that. Um, and get angry or rageful very, very quickly. Very quickly. I don't think it was a professional hit. It was, but it wasn't. Because I'm looking at the, there's four rows of cards going down and i'm looking at the last one and looking down and it's got the six of pentacles the queen of pentacles the king of cups in reverse and the emperor in reverse this is giving me the energy of they paid someone who somebody who doesn't have a lot of emotion or somebody who doesn't really care but somebody who doesn't mind violence they could have i don't know if that's a gang member or if that's like a substance abuse person i don't know and whoever it was that went to, to run them off the road, I feel like this King of Pentacles recognised them. That's what I mean. I thought they recognised them. They knew it was a professional hit, but they weren't a professional. I'm going to have to put my top back on. It's getting a bit chilly. Give me one second. I'll put you on. Now why are we been shown this why with the ace of swords why have we been shown this you've got the knight of swords excuse me you've got the king of swords in reverse and you've got the three of cups this is um they wanted to play it off as being like drink, a drunk driver do you why um and look you say that and then there's a car underneath there's literally a car underneath with the chariot and then we've got the three of cups here this person drinking 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 and driving smoking and driving um that's why it didn't work because whoever it, whoever this queen of pentacles is they paid someone who was unreliable but they did that on purpose because they thought if that person gets caught they have no affiliations to them whatsoever now how does this um link into the collective okay how does this link into the collective so many what have we got there right in a cage 
So this is some sort of binding, this is a legal bind, but the Bride in the Cage is a love spell. That's an actual love spell. So what's happening here with this love spell? Who feels enchanted? Tell me about this. How does, how does the collective, how are they connected to this? Fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. This is definitely to do with matters of the heart. This is to do with matters of the heart. Virgo. Methods for the healing power of, the analysing of, resulting from the perfectionism of. Someone here has wanted to heal themselves. Somebody wants to do better. Someone wants to move away. What's that got to do with the collective though? Why the collective? The light is coming out. Cosmic flower, a personal issue reaches resolution. So this person may have information or they may have had issues with you. Angel of love, we've got a lot of things coming out with love. They want to start a business. I'm getting that they want to start a business, but they also want a relationship. This is this seems very um, messy, is what I was going to say. Messy. You've got delight here and it says, The frequency of delight supports our capacity to create and experience feelings of intense joy and happiness. The more delight we feel, the more delight we invoke in others. Okay, so someone here is delighted by you or finds you um, beautiful. Someone here is besotted by you. Um, this is a love spell, without a doubt. Someone, oh my gosh, okay, so somebody did a love spell. I feel like this Queen of Pentacles did something here to cage or bind someone. And they were able to get out of it. If they've returned this energy to sender, it's turned this Queen of Pentacles into a stalker. But that's a light here with the fourth chakra Archangel Raphael and then um, the Angel of Love as well. And methods for the healing power of someone here is in love with your heart or, it, or they just have feels for you or someone in the collective. And they have for a very long time. And I, I don't know if this Queen of Pentacles then found out and they realise, and I do feel like this Queen of Pentacles and King of Pentacles are in a relationship, like a romantic or a sexual relationship, but they're also working together. They have a brand, or I heard brand deals, they get brand deals. Cosmic Flower here says, the frequency of Cosmic Flower activates our remembrance of the place we call home, the core from which we pour our magnificence out into the world. So yeah, this person, okay, so... This person may be looking at you as a cosmic flower. You are the healer. You are somebody that can help them. Maybe they want to, I heard a business model. They want to do something together with you. They have a business model they think that they could do with you. They could create with you. Consciousness is upside down. Should I take this one? No, I've been told not to take it. Okay. Can I get one for Angel of Love, please? Oh, thank you. Desire. This person's besotted with you. And, um... Yeah, you have somebody who may drink and drive and speed, and I'm getting that that's the Queen of Pentacles, but they've definitely paid somebody here to to write, to to knock this person off the road, or they may have paid someone to knock you off of the road, or to get you into road rage, or something along those lines. You're thinking, man, but they, whoever it is that they went to was deceitful, very deceitful. They didn't expect them to be that drunk. Neptune, inspire others with, be prepared to sacrifice for. Yielding is the only way to. And then show the world the real you is upside down. Okay, this person, whoever this person is that was in a relationship with the Queen of Pentacles, has walked away because they've realised how disingenuous they are. There also is this energy of um, either copycatting with that purple there, they were they may have been glamouring themselves to look like you or to, to, to look familiar to whoever this King of Pentacles is. But they, they've seen through something. They saw through something. Full Moon Encounter is in reverse. Oh, not again. I'm not allowed to have singing in it because I feel like YouTube will be like, no, you're not allowed. Now, let's see. Now we've got here, 
relationships the beauty of do it with your partners and so this is libra so i don't know if this person is a libra if you are a libra if it's just to do with your seventh house and then conclusions are within reach and we've also had over here a personal issue reaches resolution and that's in reverse as well now you've also got what do you need to release This person may, so they've had a secret crush on someone for a while and their other half found out they were already having issues of some sort or the, this queen of pentacles has bound them in some way and they wanted to leave and they are absolutely flipping nuts in that the emperor energy in reverse is coming out as also as this queen of, Pent queen of pentacles. This person is a hothead, or they, they can be quite irrational. Um, they can act without thinking. And they've paid for someone to, to knock them off of the road. And they knew straight away that it was them. Live out loud and look, divine masculine's in reverse. It says here, the frequency of divine masculine supports our strong, focused and active side, allowing it to express itself while helping us to bring our dreams and ideas into form with kindness and wisdom and live out loud as upside down. Someone may have felt um, very blocked and whoever they've gone to, no, whoever they went to who has the same vibes as this Queen of Pentacles is a toxic masculine. They do this, they, they're very shifty. You've got black veil fragrance upside down so something didn't work. Something didn't work when it comes to magic immediately the way you project yourself and do it on your own ah so the projection that they were sending or of themselves they were they were projecting your energy through them onto this king of pentacles or they were masking or mimicking your energy and it stopped working because you've got black magic in reverse it stopped working especially the first house being there have faith in your dreams it's upside down an attachment so this person has, what happened? They got something attached to them. I heard they had a drug test at work. This Queen of Pentacles maybe had a drug test at work. That might be why the um, King of Pentacles was like, I'm not working with you because you're a liability. I'm not working with you. We're not together. And I don't know if they were together together. Like a mess. This is what I mean by it's messy energy cancer, your feelings. Attitudes from the past about use your intuition and. And then you have naked before the stars. Yeah, this person like drinks beyond enjoyment and then makes a fool of themselves or they might just get into really sticky situations or wake up in people's beds and not even know how they got there. Um, they, definitely, they definitely use their body or their feminine or masculine or he, she, they wilds to get what they want. And they're not getting it with this King of Pentacles. I don't know. I had an office party. I don't know if they kind of like got together and then weren't together. Or if it was just like a wham bam thank you ma'am. And this person wanted more. This is giving me crazy ex-girlfriend. You know the film with, oh no, my ex-girlfriend, my, my super ex-girlfriend. I can't remember what it's called. And it's got Uma Thurman in it. And um, what's his name from Arrested Development? And he dumps her and then she just goes absolutely flipping nuts and throws a shark through his window, which I thought was hilarious. That's the energy. That's the energy. Yeah, because he walked away because this person walked away. This person walked away and wanted to ground themselves after being around somebody who I feel like this Queen of Pentacles does not have a lot of um, grounding. They don't ground themselves. They don't know how to do that. The frequency of Gaia reminds us that we are infinitely connected to one another, just as we are to the Great Mother and to the universe that birthed us all. And you've got Capricorn here. Okay, so you've definitely got this King of Pentacles. It's definitely an Earth sign. Could be a Capricorn, as it says here. Your goals, the day-to-day -day reality of use the most business-like way. And so... That Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles, if they kind of like had a kiss at the Christmas party or something, this Queen of Pentacles has become stalkerish without a flipping doubt. They've done a love spell or a glamour spell or, or both towards this King of Pentacles and this King of Pentacles has broken out of this in some way because I don't feel like they were like together together. Especially with the Two of Cups in reverse. Rotted and this person, it's just kind of like, 
it's, it's kind of settling into my brain now that this Queen of Pentacles really was trying to unalive this person for rejecting them or for firing them or for not wanting to work with them or saying we're no longer going to have brand deals together because you're irresponsible. You know, I have a... Um, I have a, a brand to think about, I have a reputation and you're going around drunk and hanging around with people that are not exactly the most savoury of people um, and also this person, whoever this king of pentacles is, there's so much hot energy coming out down here, this person has a massive, um, has massive heart shaped eyes for you or someone in the collective. Wow, you may make them feel safe in some way. Especially when they feel ungrounded because of work. So you've got root chakra upside down. The frequency of the root chakra, the red flower of life, stimulates passion and supports our sense of security on this physical plane, both in our bodies as well as in the physical world when it's upside down. This magician, this magician's walked away because they've been very drained by this queen of pentacle. Healing is in reverse and fertility. Okay, so healing says the frequency of healing supports our intrinsic ability to restore our health and wholeness by consciously using the information that comes to us through our senses and harmonizing everything accordingly and it's upside down. I don't know if this king of pentacles is like a workaholic. If this person works very long hours, if this person is like the boss and then the queen of pentacles would be underneath them. I don't feel like they're co-managing or anything like that. I feel like the King of Pentacles may own the business and then the Queen of Pentacles could own a share or they could be a part, they're a partner, but I I don't know. There's something here with this King of Pentacles just being like, whatever the Queen of Pentacles role is, they are losing their job, they've lost their job or they are being bought out. And healing is in reverse with root chakra in reverse. So there's been a lot of, um, I had a siren's call so this Queen of Pentacles may have paid people also to, to bind this masculine energy. Balance spirituality and pra with practicality, exactly. And kept this person working hard, hard, hard so they feel really imbalanced. Hiding your true self. This again, these two remind me of the candles for love spells. And is this me? This person's been copying someone else's energy. This Queen of Pentacles has been copying someone else's energy from the um, collective. Because is this me with number four? No, it's not. It's this Cancer energy. It's this cancer energy that is trying, they, they've been trying to, they've been trying to, what's the word, um, seduce this king of pentacles for ages. They want the money, they want the money, but they want something else. Saturn, be realistic about, be concerned about, you must wait before you can. So this was a massive life lesson for this king of pentacles. And walking away and letting go of control of whatever's going on here and going it's not worth it has I heard it's helped this person to jump in leaps and bounds. Liberation, peaceful amongst thorns. So this Queen of Pentacles was trying to keep this um, King of Pentacles in a, a karmic cycle. But I don't know. I don't know yet if this King of Pentacles is coming towards someone in the collective because just for romantic reasons or if they're coming towards you for like a collaboration or for work or something along those lines because this at the moment seems pretty messy if you have like this wild feral person in the background trying to drive people off of the off of the road or paying people to do the same thing that's just that's beyond my understanding it's beyond my understanding what are you dynamic the frequency of dynamic supports our ability to harmonize between layers and aspects of different origin and frequency it helps us to put together a reality that is made up of many different elements, both familiar and completely new, with ease, grace and great joy. So this person could be um, a job offer. Merging of two worlds. What does that mean, merging of two worlds? Allowance. And then uh, perchance the dream is upside down. Mm, this king of pentacles... I'm getting very much the Queen of Pentacles has messy energy and that, that this is a lesson for the King of Pentacles to learn and heal from. But at the same time, we manifest in the wounds that we have not healed yet, right? Um, and this Queen of Pentacles is obviously a wound that this King of Pentacles is yet to heal or is healing right now. Um, 
with that allowance though, with perchance the dream in reverse, do we really want th that type of energy coming towards us? Because it's not saying that the King of Pentacles is a bad person or that, you know, it, they're on a different path of healing to those in the collective. Because there's a, a big difference between having an ex that is controlling or, you know, being annoying or asking for more money to having an ex or having someone who thinks they're your ex and it's giving me the um, baby reindeer from Netflix and if you haven't watched that go and watch it it is it will blow your mind it's really really good it's very um it's very intense though be aware that it does there are trigger warning because um our word happens and stalking happens but that's the energy of this person here and if that is what they are going through right now the difference between the, the, the path that you're going on and the path that this person is going on is very wide, okay? Because allowance here says, the frequency of allowance invites us to be open to whatever comes our way without judgment. <laughs> and I've just been judging, so I feel like I've just been called out without op opinion, without fear, without resistance. When we allow, the universe becomes our partner in wondrous dance of existence and expansion. I feel like I've been called out by saying that, but at the same time, you also have perchance to dream upside down. It's like allowing, perchance to dream though as well, when you look at the card, it's flipping weird, right? There's somebody like sleeping. I don't know if they're sleeping and then the other person, at first you think they're human, but when you actually look, like what is that coming out of their armpit? Is that like a feather? Is that a, is that a claw? What is it? And it's upside down. It's given me like um, sleep, paralysis, sleep paralysis demon. You know, like, um, they say, like, I had a sleep paralysis when I was a teenager and I never felt a pressure on my chest, but I always felt like there was something in the corner of the room. But some people feel like there's something sitting on their chest. It's giving me that energy. This person, as much as they're saying, don't, you know, um, to be open to whatever comes your way, be open to whatever comes your way. But also do not be so open that you are now in an energy that doesn't need to be there because we've been through such a long winding cycle or spiral that has come to an end or is ending right now for something new to begin and this gives me old energy this gives me proper old energy anything else look as you did in the past your home base or your family what makes you feel secure that's weird tell me more about this family tell me about the family please oh oh baby hostilities is upside down and third chakra third eye chakra excuse me and i have to pick up the ones down there as well and my nose just got really itchy all of a sudden um it says the frequency of the third eye chakra the indigo flower of life supports our intuition and our inner knowing our imagination and our psychic powers being able to read when energy is good and when it's not because there's an attachment here to somebody okay so there is definitely there's an attachment here to this queen of pentacles but this is not a negative one. It's not something that is hostile towards you. It could be a guide that is trying to get through to them because this person has lost their way. Now you have the sick chakra Archangel Metatron is upside down. So this person is super blocked. They're not even seeing that their guides are like, you need to stop because I keep seeing this person ride, driving really fast down like a country lane and they are under the influence of something. They're gonna crash or they're gonna crash into another car. I feel like whatever they've paid someone to do is something that they've, they've hit and run or they've knocked someone over before. This person's got very chaotic, very feral energy, proper feral. Now, chair yoga is happening. We have, we have Mercury and it says, communicate, analyze, let your mind tell you how to, and then I won't cry for you, it's upside down. I don't, I feel like this King of Pentacles has seen this Queen of Pentacles do things like this before and kind of like didn't say anything and that may be part of this bride in a cage energy of being bound but at the same time there's no energy stronger than our own so someone can send spell work towards you and even if you have wounds that vibrate and it attaches your willpower through your own energy can break that. I do feel like this person this king of pentacles has they made excuses i think 
because I, I feel like this person knows. Oh my gosh, okay. This Queen of Pentacles, it's not a guide that's attached to them. It is the past over loved one of somebody who may have been knocked over by them. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This third eye chakra is coming to me because I feel like you may have a family member who has passed over that comes to you. They may wish to give you a heads up about this Queen of Pentacles because I don't, their energy is very erratic. They've got messy energy. And if you have someone that's coming forward to offer you a job that has this type of energy around them, it's not for you. And I feel like someone's aunt or someone's cousin or someone's brother or whoever it may be is going to come forward and give you kind of like the white flag, like, yes, you should, or the red flag, like, no, you shouldn't. But I'm also getting that whoever it is that's attached to this Queen of Pentacles, this if you if you have mediumship skills or you are a medium, they may come to you in dreams or they may come to you at night time. Change because they want to move, they want to pass over. They want to pass over. Wow, wow. Oh my gosh, not that one way for me to go. Okay. Anger and change is in reverse. Energy has been sent back. Energy has been sent back. Soul time. The frequency of soul time asks us to allow the possibility of a new reality to emerge. One that embraces the concept that the concept that while the corporeal body is mortal, the soul is timeless, limitless, and infinite. And then you've got the world as well. I feel like someone's you've either been through an upgrade or you're going through an upgrade. And if your mediumship skills were kind of so-so, they're going to get really strong. And especially with this hostility coming out, you're being told, especially with it being in reverse, not to be frightened. Because do you know what? This King of Pentacles, this person, they tumbled in their car and they've got out. And they that's the reason they knew that it was the Queen of Pentacles. Because they've seen the Queen, Queen of Pentacles knock someone over or they've seen them, you know, run someone off of the road. That's crazy. That is crazy. Soul time's coming out again. Tell me about soul time. Jupiter, sacral chakra, this is family. You've definitely got a family member coming through, a passed over, uh, a passed over loved one. Yin and yang, and then the sacral chakra. The frequency of the sacral chakra, the orange flower of life, supports our ability to flow with our, our desires and stimulates our creative power to manifest success and abundance in our lives. And then underneath that, you've also got Jupiter. Learn or teach, be positive about, grow and expand. And then you've also got action. So you definitely have a family member that's coming through that is going to not only warn you about who to stay away from, they're going to they kind of kind of give you guidelines on where to go or which signs to look for when you are navigating. This makes sense because the last reading that I did, and now I keep stopping halfway for a sentence, but the last reading I did was talking about a fake mentor, right? and um, how to figure out whether it was someone for you or not. You have a guide that's gonna come in. You have a, um, you have a Passover loved ones that's gonna make sure that you know where the money is and where the fake money is. And why did I say it that way? Mm hmm Because I feel like this person, this Queen of Pentacles is a hot mess. And if they're a hot mess and they're doing things like this to this King of Pentacles, you need to stay away from them, completely stay away from them. I feel like I need to leave it quite short. Right, before I go, should I look at that one? Let me see. Let me see if I can grab it. Eep. I'm going to do this and then I'm going to make a move and go. A new world is reborn. But it's upside down. This, this, is, this is old energy. And then you also have, um, you can't see it from here, but I'm making a little triangle with my card, did it on purpose. That means family. You've definitely got messages coming through from past over loved ones. Now, let's see. What do we need to know before we go? Collective. Advice. 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 Not that one. Okay. Advice, please. Heed wise counsel and listen. Wow. Okay. You will not let fear stop you this time and it's upside down someone's trying to scare you it might be this queen of pentacles they're going to try and scare you how how are they going to try and scare someone 
the gift of sacred sight through your third eye. This is why you've got Archangel Metatron in reverse because they're trying to block this. This, this Queen of Pentacles, they know that they have an attachment and I feel like this attachment is scaring the crap out of them. When I heard flashbacks, they may get flashbacks. Um, but that Metatron being in reverse, they've been blocked. They are blocked. They may be trying to, they're trying to pass this person over to you. And it says the time has come. The time to act is now. Interesting. The creativity, genius, writing, expression and artistic flow is upside down. There's number four there as well. And then take care of yourself. This, I feel like this Queen of Pentacles is somebody who's in competition with your artistic talent as well. It's not just your spiritual talent, it's your artistic talent. And I know I said I was going to go, but I really want to get, so I haven't used this deck in a while. Not in a hot minute. So, let's see. Eek. What do I need to know? What else do we need to know about this Queen of Pentacles? Ooh. Fitness and health. So this person could be a Virgo. Creativity. I told you creativity was going to come out. Creativity is on its side. Health and fitness. So this person could be a gym bunny. Um, they could really take care of themselves. They could... I don't know if they're, the job that they have together then or the job that they were working together on was to do with health and fitness. Candle magic. This person's doing candle magic. An actor and actress is on the side. This, point, this person finds it very difficult to manage their emotions or to hide this stain. Anything else you need to know, please, before I go? So below is coming out and first house smear campaign. I want to be you. Karmic cycles stuck in a loop. Self-harm, pessimistic, calls themselves a realist. Mask on, hungry for validation of others, insecure, copies others, social anxiety, jealousy, um, self-loathing and uh, thoughts of unaliving. And so below is here as well. Limiting views is underneath as well. And then I saw this one popping out. Second house, money and work. Law of attraction, promotions, increasing income, big payout, material wealth, balanced moral values, reliable, grounded, Luxury possessions, progression in job, strong work ethics, money gifted to you, inheritance, daily routines. So this Queen of Pentacles is eyeing that up. And you've got 75,000 or more maybe coming in. This person is obsessed. I don't even feel like it's the King of Pentacles. It's the Queen of Pentacles. Obsessed, death spells, um, deviant sexual thoughts about you, polyamorous love spells and sexual dreams. And they're a tarot reader. Look at this. They may be a tarot reader, they may be going to a tarot reader to have these things done. And you've got faith you in reverse. They're really trying to mess up someone's finances. And it says loss or failure, low self-esteem, greed, discord, waste, poverty, stupidity, and poor judgment. Well, well, well. Anything else about can I, can I know about the King of Pentacles, please? Uruz is in reverse. Weakness? Is this the king or the queen? The king. Weakness, obsession, misdirected force, domination or manipulation by others, sickness, inconsistency, ignorance, lust, greed, brutality, unpredictable power, violence and ill health. So this King of Pentacles has really ill health. I thought it was going to come up this way and I was going to be like, yeah, that's a personal trainer. This person's not well. This person is not well. Why are they not well? What happened to them? Hurt. and then you've got grounded here as well competition betrayal frenemies lies dagger and deceit because someone betrayed them when it came to money or someone they paid they paid did something to hurt them deceit frenemies eat something hearty shoes off feet on the earth seed sound salt bath breathing techniques i'm going to read those ones okay but why are they sick why are they hurt why are they hurt? Money wounds and waitresses in reverse. Because they wouldn't be submissive to something. Because they and it's, it is about money for both of them. Of course, they, they are the king and queen of pentacles. But money wounds here, I'm not worthy, don't deserve. It's too expensive. Okay. How did that make them sick, though? How did that make them sick? You've got under construction. Pregnancy in reverse, fertility, family, 
creativity, birth, sacral chakra, projects and hobbies. This person may be impotent or they may not be able to have children. Makeup artists and they're hiding this. So this person could have an SPI or an STD. They could have, or maybe they didn't realise they had one and it was it went on for so long that now they have become infertile because I know that there are certain STDs that have like hardly any symptoms or no symptoms and some of them can make you infertile. Um, that's wild. Under construction, this is something they're trying to figure out. Okay, but not the best time. They're really hurt and it's not the best time. Why are they looking at the collective though with Google eyes? Why? Why are they looking at the collective with Google eyes? Okay, court ruling because of a court ruling. And you've got here focused intention on target groups chanting trapped elemental beings heat coals and fire this king of pentacles is staying very quiet about this and trying to like mask their energy but this person has been doing nefarious things like the queen of pentacles the queen of pentacles seems to be showing it more this karma coming back on them this person drinking and driving and you know knocking over people or paying to have this person you know off or whatever but this coming up with the King of Pentacles, this King of Pentacles may be a witch or a warlock or whatever. Um, and then you've got the court rulings on the side because of some sort of ruling that they want to go in their favour. What's the court ruling about? What's the court ruling about? Don't worry, your ancestors have got, are protecting you. Okay. And it's about a big change they're trying to stop coming in. They're trying to block a big change. Okay. What is the big change? What's the big change? King of Swords. Oh, this is to do with um, going to prison. This is about being arrested. Or it's to do with court as well. And then you've got the Five of Pentacles. This, both the King and Queen of Pentacles are obsessed with money. And I get it because they are the King and Queen of money. But they're trying to stop something. They're trying to stop something to do with your creativity from being expressed because of a job offer and it's weird because at the same time this king of pentacles also really fancies you or is feels like they're in love with you so they they, they want to i heard own and control you love you and get rid of you it's weird energy weird energy they're trying to block some sort of um court case from going through from i don't know what they're up to but this King of Swords to the Five of Pentacles to the Eight of Wands in reverse, this is blo blocking, delaying or stopping and slowing down some sort of big change that comes in for you. And I feel like it is um, directly connected to whatever outcome you get, they will get the opposite outcome. So if you end up with failure and not having anything, then they get something. But if you get this big change, if you get this wonderful opportunity for creativity, it could be collaborations, whatever, then they end up on the other side of a prison cell. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, and you've got the Emperor in reverse. Emperor's come out more than once. And the King of Pentacles. So this Emperor energy that I felt over here is both of them. I don't know who this third party is. I had a friend of a friend, a friend of a friend. I don't know if they met this person at a house party or something, but they, they act and dress like they are of higher class than they are. And I'm not talking about middle class, you know, lower class, higher class. I'm talking about actually having class, having grace, having, you know, that je ne sais quoi. They dress and act and they kind of put on a mask of being that classy person, but they're not. Because they're, they're hanging around with somebody in a house party that either, you know, the same with the Queen of Pentacles who drinks to the point of um, just drinking until they black out. Um, that's not classy. Come on now. You go to a cocktail party and by, you know, you've been there an hour and you've already got your dress up around your, up around here because you've fallen in the pool with your legs up. That's not classy, right? Um, but this King of Pentacles isn't classy either because they know... That's why he knew. That's why he recognised this person. Because it's not just who this Queen of Pentacles hangs around with. It's who this King of Pentacles hangs around with. It's all a facade. Whatever their brand deals are, it's all a facade. King of Pentacles here is ready to fight someone. They're, they're ready to fight someone to make sure that they don't end up in the Ten of Swords again. Oh my gosh. So they're fighting each other. 
and I've got the Ten of Pentacles coming out, and I've got the Five of Swords. They are literally fighting over money. They're fighting over money, and I heard your money too. It's like they want they want this opportunity for themselves. Oh my gosh, this is such old energy. They need to just stop, right? They need to stop. And that is why this King of Pentacles, King of Pentacles is coming towards someone here with goo goo eyes. Because they're fighting over some sort of money. They may be fighting over their business or they're fighting over this opportunity that will get them out of some sort of, um, they're stuck in some way. But this Queen of Pentacles, I feel like this King of Pentacles wants to get this Queen of Pentacles away from them. They don't want to be associated with them. They don't want um, their business brand to go down the sink because of this Queen of Pentacles. Um, and you have the Knight of Cups here and we have the Ten of Swords in reverse. And then you have the three of swords. This person wants to come in as like this big, you know. Why did I see like Gambit in like the old school 90s X-Men cartoon um, with his, um, who was it that he was in love with? Rogue. And he'd be like, mon chéri. And he'd have like a real chiseled jaw and like a little bandana on. I'm getting that, that this person wants to come in and like really um, love bomb someone and be like, oh my gosh, you're the only one for me. Um, and I'm hearing the song A Genuine Pony. If you're on there, let's do it. Ride it, my pony. Yeah, so this person wants to come in and like give you lavish. I can't pick up these cards. My nails are pretty, but they are useless. Um, wants to come in and lavish you with all of this money and all these words and stuff like that. And it's to get them out of some sort of hot mess. Because I don't know what's going on. I do not know what's going on with these courts, with a court case what they're involved in but if they know who it was that tried to run them off the road and they they kiki with this person then you know that whatever they're in court for is not going to be for something minor it's not going to be for something minor but they're both fighting it was that way wasn't it they're, they're fighting over this money who's going to get them who's going to give them the money lovers i'll stop it so you've got a queen and a king of pentacles who are both trying to rush forward with an offer towards someone here in the collective. And remember, I'm saying she for queen and he for king, but we hold both masculine and feminine energy. So the queen could be a king and the king could be a queen. You know what I mean? Take it as it resonates. But you have two people here who are rushing towards someone in the collective and they want to be the first one to get to you so that they can love you up and have you on their side when something happens so that you'll bail them out or that you'll take their place or whatever. Yeah, the Ten of Cups in reverse. They don't want you to be looking at the fact that this is all just a trap and a trick and oh no. Anything else before they go? Yeah, it's all about control. It's all about control. Six of Cups in reverse to the Four of Pentacles and then you have the Four of Cups in reverse. They want to be able to control the narrative and control what new things come in, what new offers come in and how they come in. They want to see this before it happens. You've got the Knight of Pentacles coming out in reverse again. And you've also got the Wheel of Fortune here and the Knight of Swords. This is putting a, a stop or a block to like the Wheel of Fortune being in the reverse for them. They want to block some sort of communication. This is this is ridiculous. They don't want to invest in like, um, they don't want you to invest in going through those burdens with the Ten of Wands, taking that time to, you know, whatever it, whatever that turmoil is, it doesn't last forever. It is temporary and there is always a lesson to be learned from it. They don't want you to go through that. This is the reason why someone may be coming forward soon. It's because they know an opportunity is coming soon and it's the only um it's the only lifeline they have to get out of whatever hot mess they're a part of. I'm going to leave it there because that was that was wild. That was completely feral. Um, I hope that gave you some confirmation and clarity on what you're already intuitively know. If you are new to my channel and this resonated, I would love you to hit on the like, the subscribe and the notification bell so you can see more of my content. I do not know why I was hiding behind the candle this whole time like this. That was ridiculous, right? I've sat to the side. So I may have to move the candle because it's, it's bigger than my head from where it is. Um, if you liked what you heard, um, I'd love for you to hit on the like, the like, the subscribe and the notification bell so you can see more of my content and when I post. And if you are a return subscriber, soul family, hearts, kisses, stay awesome, you guys. I love you guys. 
please know that uh, my readings are closed. Do not be scammed by anyone in the comment section. I will never reach out to you to solicit you for anything. Um, to get a reading from me, you have to email me. But at the moment, I am not taking readings. If you email me now about a reading, I will not respond. Um, I find it difficult um, to keep up with all the emails that I have. So once I do actually open them up again, I will only be looking at the top ones. And I will only be taking about seven to ten readings and then I'll be closing it again. But that won't be for now. Maybe next week I might open them up again. Um, I was going to say something else and I cannot remember. Stay awesome, stay awesome. And I will see you in the next one. I need to get up. Okay, okay bye. Bye.